Hey guys, welcome back to Mono View. Today we're going to be starting our NVR series where we give a breakdown and total information about all of our NVR models. So part one is going to be focusing on our four channel NVR, otherwise known as the MNR8040-4. Now NVR stands for Network Video Recorder. And these are the primary pieces of hardware within any Montevue system because they serve a lot of critical functions. So a quick little spec breakdown of this NVR. It is four channel, which means it is capable of hosting four cameras or channels, whether they are plugged directly into the PoE ports on the back or coming in through a network via a PoE switch. The processing power on board is going to be 80 megabits per second. So because it's 80 megabits per second, the processing power is somewhat limited on this NVR. It is specifically designed to more host the 2K Montevue cameras at 30 frames per second or our 4K cameras at 15 frames per second. For this NVR, you're going to get a total output of 36 watts, which means distributed amongst its four ports, it's kind of a balance of strong cameras versus weak cameras and how many you can have of each. So typically if you were going to plug in something large like our MTZ4250, that can take anywhere up to 25 watts just for a single camera, which means that you'd be limited to the other three ports and uh, you know it might cause some power issues for your other cameras. So this is where you might need to have either a PoE injector in place or a PoE switch to manage some of those larger cameras. So keep in mind the MTZ4250 is at one of our biggest cameras, but it is 2K. So technically you should be able to support four of these on this guy. Can you plug them all directly in? Definitely not. But again, if you guys have injectors or use PoE switches, you can sort of alleviate that power struggle and have those su supplement that power for you. So as far as hard drive capacity, it is capable of hosting a single surveillance grade hard drive up to 10 terabytes in space. So you could either go with a one terabyte that would come with any of the pre-made packages that are on our website, or if you guys give us a call, we can do a custom order and put up to a 10 terabyte hard drive in this guy, which would give you likely weeks to months of recording if you're supporting four channels. So a quick unboxing of this NVR, we're gonna see that we have some components here, including the NVR, we're gonna have an HDMI cable, and as well as the accessory box that you guys are gonna see. After we open the accessory box, let's go through all the components. All right, now we're gonna take a quick peek at the back of the four channel NVR. Starting off on the far left, we have our DC power input. Now this is gonna to run to an external power supply and then it simply just plugs into a wall. Our four PoE ports, again, these are capable of delivering up to 25.5 watts per port, but keep in mind, you've only got a 36 watt total output for this NVR. Next, we have our network port. When these are properly plugged in, you're gonna have a green light indicating power and a yellow light indicating information transfer that will blink. Next is the VGA output, maxing out at 1080p of an output resolution here. We've got our mic in and mic out. This is for plugging in certain components if you wanna use the two-way audio. Those capabilities are primarily directed for the mobile application because your phone already has these components built within but these plugins give you an opportunity to plug in speakers and a microphone directly to the NVR. Next, we have our HDMI output. This is capable of plugging into any TV or monitor that also has an HDMI input, and the total output resolution is 4K. Now keep in mind, in order to get true 4K images, your monitor or television also needs to be 4K capable. And finally, we've got our two USB ports. One of these will be used to plug in a mouse for control of the NVR, and the other USB port can be used to plug in flash drives for exporting footage directly from the NVR. Next, we have the power supply. The little end goes into the NVR, the middles connect here, and of course your power end goes into a standard wall outlet. A Cat5e cable, this one's about six feet long. You can use this for whatever purpose you can find. A wired USB mouse for controlling the NVR interface. A blue SATA cable, this is used to connect your hard drive to your NVR on the inside. An HDMI cable, this is used to display high-res images to a TV or a monitor. Your hard drive power cable, this is used to plug in the hard drive to a power source inside the NVR. Finally, we're going to see these little screws in this pink bag. This is going to be used to attach your hard drive to your NVR. Now the blue SATA cable, the power cable, and the screws 
may not be found inside here because if you guys purchase a hard drive with your NVR, then we actually pre-install it prior to shipping it out. So again, that is the blue SATA cable, the multicolored power cable, and these little screws may be missing from your unit if you have purchased a hard drive because we have already pre-installed it for you. All right, if we look at the top of the four channel NVR, we are gonna see three indicator lights. Now, typically for normal operation, only one of these should be lit all the time, and that is the power light in the very center. That light means that the NVR is powered on and operational. The indicator to the left, that is the hard drive status indicator, and that will only flash red if there's abnormal function of the hard drive detected. So that means there is a hard drive installed, but there's something wrong with the hard drive, and so that light will indicate that there's a problem there. The light on the right is gonna be your network indicator light. If this light is on, that means there's some sort of abnormality detected within the network, whether that be a missed connection to the router, or there may not be anything plugged in at all to the network port. All right, guys, that is all I've got for the four channel NVR. This is the MNR8040-4. This is available on our website and in packages or purchased separately. And if you guys have any questions on this or any of our other NVRs, keep in mind you can give us a call here at the tech support line or customer service. We're here Monday through Friday to answer anything you guys have for us. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out our videos. Please like and subscribe down below. That makes sure you guys get notified of any future videos that I'm coming up with, including the rest of this NVR series. That's gonna cover the eight, 16, and 32 channel models. You guys have a great day and thank you for choosing Monoview.